Hey guys, that Pilot Joe, and today I'm going to be building a Stratix. Okay, so for those of you that do not know what a Stratix is, it is basically a home built ADSBN receiver for pilots. The Stratix is a open source system. You basically buy parts, put it together and install a software on the machine. It runs off of a Raspberry Pi. You can also buy one pre-built, but it costs more. So today, I'm going to show you guys how you can make it on your own for the cheapest way possible. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so there are seven main components to the build that we are going to need. We are going to need a case, a Raspberry Pi, a GPS chip, or a remote located GPS, there's two options that you can buy. The AHAR sensor for attitude and heading reference, the micro SD card for storing the Stratix files, the ADSB antenna bands, and a battery. Okay, so starting off, we wanna grab the Raspberry Pi. I have already installed the heat sinks on the board, so when you get yours, you're going to want to clean off the chip and install the heat sink. We are going to need the case, which is right here. I'm going to open this up. I installed these rubber mounts on it. This is to separate the battery from the case, so that way you can still get airflow from the fan and not overheat the case. It's optional, you don't have to do it, but I did it. So we are going to open up the case, it just pops open. And there we are, we have two fans, one with a USB mount on it, and one with this special connector. Set that aside. We want to take the main case, and we want to remove the fan. This is because the fan with the USB attached to it will not fit onto the Raspberry Pi if you use the onboard GPS. That is why this fan has to go. Okay. So now that we have the case open and taken apart, we want to grab our antenna wires, these two right here. It doesn't matter which side you put the wires on, but you want to unscrew the nut remove the first washer and place it through the hole on the case. The case has options for mounting the antennas on two locations on the top and on the side. I chose these two locations. You basically just take a knife and cut out the plastic on each hole. It will look like this before you cut it you just want to cut out the pieces holding the plastic we're going to take the antenna and place it through the hole then we are going to take the other washer place it on the outside and screw the nut down And then you're going to tighten it. Don't tighten it so much that it cracks the case, just enough to where it won't spin when you're unscrewing and screwing on the antennas. It will not spin and make it harder for yourself. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, done. Next, we're going to run the wire through a channel on each side. That is gonna make it easy for us to get the Raspberry Pi inside the unit. Before we install the Raspberry Pi, we want to install the Velcro strap. It's gonna be easier now rather than later. So, you want to install it with the soft side down. So, just run it through the channel under 
underneath the antenna wires and through to the other side. Doing that now is going to save yourself a lot of trouble trying to get it in there after you install the Raspberry Pi. Now we are going to place the case aside and work on the Raspberry Pi. So with the Raspberry Pi, we're going to want to install the AHARS chip on the board first. This will be mounted with its pins facing the USB connector and you want to place it on the edge of the board right there so all of the pins are connected and then just press and connect it okay now that that is on the Raspberry Pi we can place the Raspberry Pi inside of the case to do this Simply line it up with the ports on the side. The USB connectors should be facing the back. And you want to just press it in. Just like that. Alright, there are clips that hold the board in right here and here. Also on the other side. This enables the case to mount the Raspberry Pi without screws. So that way you don't need screws and it is securely mounted to the case. Now we are going to want to install our USB connectors for the antennas. These do not fit side by side on the Raspberry Pi, so we're going to have to open them up and take the case off. Now that we have them open, separated, I installed the stickers. That lets me know which unit is which, and that's going to help me in the installation process. So, I also installed the other half of the stickers on the top of the case so that way I can tell which antenna goes to which port so if we have it put together like this we are going to want the 1090 antenna on the right and the 978 on the left so this one 1090, 978, and just place the USB on the bottom right there. And do the same thing for the other side. And then connect the antennas to it. Just plug it in. Just like that. Next, we're going to install the GPS chip. This just goes right in the middle, right there, and that's it. And right now, we're pretty much done with the build. One last thing is to install the SD card, but we have to format that first. Okay guys, so on the computer, we want to go to Stratix in Google. This opens up the website for the Stratix home base pretty much. This tells you your parts list, everything you can get, including your compatibility with certain apps and what features you can expect from the Stratix. So what we want to do is download 
the latest version but I already have that so I'm going to cancel this the next thing we want to do is go to etcher and download that etcher is a software that will let you burn the file image to the SD card so I'm going to download this for Mac they have it for Windows Mac and Linux so it should work for everyone I'm going to download this and once that's done downloading we're gonna open it okay so once the etcher is done downloading we're going to open up the file and install it on the computer I already have it but whatever I'll replace it okay now that that is done now that we have etcher we want to open it okay we're going to select the image which is going to be the stratix next we're going to select the image we want stratix to be burned to which is the SD card reader and then I'm going to click flash and that is going to start the process I have to put in my password and there it goes so the whole thing is going to take about three minutes four minutes to finish the whole setup but once that's done you're going to remove this SD card and place it inside the Raspberry Pi and you are all set but just to show you it goes right here under the case and that's that so we can put the top of the case back on also before we close the case we're going to connect this top fan to the AR sensor this will provide a temperature controlled fan so just put the red wire on the right side and connect it just like that now that that's done we can close the case don't pinch any wires And the case just snaps close. Just like that. That's the top half of the case on. And then the bottom half. And that's it. So now that we have the case built, we can attach the antennas. I use the smaller antennas because it saves space. You can use whichever antennas you want. It doesn't matter. So we're going to connect the 1090 antenna onto the right. And the 978 antenna onto the left. And that's it. So this is the Stratix. I have this battery pack. I bought it specifically for the Stratix. It is a 12,000 milliamp hour battery. So it should last at least 
10 hours, hopefully, running the Stratix. Just simply mount on right here. This is what the Velcro is for. So I can hold the battery to the unit. You just wrap it through and tighten it down. And just like that. And last but not least, grab your cable. I bought this cable. I will link it down in the description along with everything else so you can purchase it and build your own unit. But this is a right angle cable and we'll just plug in right there and then plug into the power. And there we go. The battery is powering the unit. We have a red light. It's gonna start flashing soon and a fan should come on. There's the fan and there's the green light. So the fan cut off because it's not running hot, but that's the Stratix. All right, one more thing to mention. I bought this case on Amazon. I will link it down below, but it is the perfect size for the Stratix. Basically, this is what you do. Remove the power unscrew the antennas and place the case inside just like that and place your antennas on the top you can even place the bigger antennas if you want to have those as a backup and it all fits inside the case like it's meant for the case so that will be linked down in the description for you to purchase it's only about seven dollars and that's it see ya all right so if you're still here you made it to the end of this video if you want to see me do a software side of the video go ahead and leave a like down below that lets me know that you guys are interested in a software specific video and i will make one of those and get that out to you as soon as possible also if you have any comments about the video have any questions go ahead and comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible but that's it for today see you guys in the next video and if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe now and hit the notification bell that way you get updated when i upload all of my videos see you guys next time peace